shot. I won. I won in the arena. Who's that, son? Could you be one? Ula, the unlucky. Fool. Every man beats Ula. It's Ula's destiny to lead its always. Or cast leaden balls and threw it up. What good would leaden balls be? There's a wraith, not some devil. So what do we do, wanderer? Go to the druids? Druids aren't any good with wraiths. Oh, suppose you're better. Shut your gob. He's better than any. That's a witcher there. Listen, it's our arena. We've got a wraith that haunts it. Damned if we know how to drive it off. Do you think you could manage? This wraith. I can probably manage it. Need the details. What do you want to know? What kind of an arena is this? It's an arena, like any other. The custom was for the best warriors to clash here. Speakerog boats were famous all across Skellige. Then one day a wraith showed up. How did you know? Told you. He's a witcher. A cunning man. He knows these things. Our earnings to come. Once the fighting begins, after the curse is lifted. Oh, sure you're not getting carried away there? A ah, little lie, but fuck it. Witcher gets rid of the rate. He'll deserve a premium from the earnings, he will. So be it. One time only, though. Sounds reasonable. Wait for me here. Shouldn't be too long. <laughs> Every man defeats Ula the Unlucky. You will too. I defeated you. Seems so. Congratulations. But... What happened? I was to lose till the end of time. What's that? I hear. I hear. Laughter and joyous cries. The clanking of chalices and a, and a voice. Summoning me to the feast of heroes. You, you let me win. You freed me. Thank you. The gods be with you. Farewell, ghost. Man needs worries like a boat needs ballast. Sail straight and eat. Greetings. Ghost shouldn't pester you anymore. Drinking meat with his ancestors by now. Ah, knew you'd manage it. Well, Gunnar, we're winning. Here. You bet on it? Should have seen it. I said you'd pull it off. Gunnar said there weren't a chance. That's why he's got that sheep's arse frown now. See that frown often, when it's time for me to get paid. You needn't fret. We're honorable folk here. This is for you. And remember... You get a cut of the earnings once we get the arena up and running again. I'll remember that. So long. Hey, hey, hey. Here to fight. Come and have a chance. Best blades hey. don't work shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Hey there. Oh, the mutant, eh? Don't make a face. It's good you're one. Ordinary bloke never stand a chance against the champion of champions. You have come to challenge him, haven't you? Anything I should know about my opponent? Had to fight a bear earlier. Bit surprised. Go with him. He'll lead you where you need to go. Behold, the champion of champions. A rock troll. A very well-developed rock troll. 
this supposed to be a fist fight? Aye, fists. Uh, of course, we provide a dignified funeral, observing the rituals of the Challenger's Creed. Current champion's a troll. Everybody all right with that? No one's got a problem? Why would they? He's an honorable troll. Came and said he wanted to fight, and the previous champion agreed. That'd be Zama, known also as Sandy Locks. And he got the name even for the troll planted him in the dirt head first. Troll have a name? We wager he does, but he'll not reveal it till he's defeated. He's a troll errant, see? Won't say much if he doesn't survive that fight. Aye, fair enough. But I wager he don't imagine he'll lose. And maybe, as he's a troll, he don't imagine much at all. Doubt logic's his strong suit. I want to fight the champion of champions. What do they call ye? Geralt of Rivia. I'm ready to fight. Geralt of Rivia, time to begin. Geralt of Rivia, you've defeated the champion of champions in fair combat. Earned the right to bear the title yourself. This very eve, I'll send word to the four corners of the world. The title is yours, as is the champion's prize.
It's clearing up. Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. We are at war, if you've not noticed. I've noticed. I can see the smoke from burning huts miles away. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her Dimeritian shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale, near Ard Skellig. We can take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports. But have it your way. Let's go.
and that's it. Got a minute? Of course. Once you'd left Yen and me on the Isle of Avalon, what happened to you? What did you do? I traveled through time, space, different worlds. I saw houses of glass, ran with unicorns at the world's end. Even lived in an undersea kingdom for a time. Hmm. <laughs> Freedom. Always had a taste for it. I still do. So why'd you return? It was too much. I almost drowned in it. When everything is possible, it quickly becomes a lot less alluring. Traveling between worlds, what's it like? It's... nice. Difficult? It was at first, but in time it became automatic, like riding a horse. Bet a lot of mages would love to learn to do it. I'm certain they would. But Avalarch claims they've neither the knowledge nor talent. He spent four centuries learning to do it, yet can still only find and pass through pre-existing portals. I go wherever I please, whenever I please. Aridin's located you time and again. How's that work? When I pass between worlds, I create a kind of shockwave. Anyone properly trained can sense it. That's how Avalach explains it, at any rate. He can do it too. So you shouldn't actually ever use your power. It's not like that. The impulse is stronger the longer my voyage. On short hops, the disturbance is practically imperceptible. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. Yes, Geralt? Margarita any better? I managed to accelerate tissue regeneration. She's feeling much better. In fact, we must bring Erid in here as soon as possible. Otherwise, I'm afraid these sorceresses of yours will start fighting amongst themselves. Went by your laboratory. I trust you did not make a mess. Didn't mention you were the NL Elves' chief source of knowledge about Ciri's abilities. I didn't mention many things. Fortunately, they're no longer important. Your experiments with the gene, Elder Blood, that's not important. I pursued those studies to protect Ciri. To protect Lara Doran's blood in whomever's veins it courses. ran into someone at your lab. Did you know? Mm-hmm. A she-elf. Claimed you hate Ciri. So how's that fit you trying to protect her, whatever the cost? Not at all. You don't really expect me to confess my feelings to you, do you? Once we use the Sunstone, what makes you think Aridin won't figure things out? I doubt he'll think the Elves of the White Fleet suddenly long to see him. We can alter the signal emitted by the Sunstone. Unlikely Eredin will recognize its origin. It's not the only artifact to possess this power. There are others? Great. Now mind telling me why I had to scour Skellige looking for this one? The Sunstone was the easiest to find, believe me. Tell me something more about Karanthir. Know him well? Know him? I reared him. Raised, don't you mean? No, Geralt. I began shaping him long before he was born. For centuries, I... brought together pairs of elves manifesting certain abilities, those able to manipulate time and space. He is the result of these efforts. Caranthia, a golden child. Golden child who grew up to be a criminal. Charming world you and El have got. Could easily fall in love with the place. Tell me, how do you do it? Sit around playing flute, painting rutting unicorns in gorgeous landscapes, building ornately sculpted towers? 
and then you murder us without batting an eye, without a hint of guilt. How? Do you humans feel guilt when you murder Enshe elves? Or dwarves? Or dryads? We are the same, simply because we both firmly believe others are inferior. You imprisoned Ciri the first time you met her. Now you protect her while fighting against your own kind. Quite an about face. First of all, I did not imprison her. She found me. It was her destiny. Yeah, sure. Get to the second of all. Why are you helping her? Because she is a danger. A mortal one. You look at her and see a human. A ward. A daughter, even. I look and see the Elder Blood. A power that can destroy the world. A power that must be kept from Eredin's power-addled hands at all costs. Admittedly, our motives differ. Yet in spite of that, we share a goal. So, you would be wise to trust me. Or at least try. From the look of things, pretty soon Siri won't need your help anymore. Nor yours. True. She'll do whatever she wants, and I'll support her. What about you? Ready to let her live her own life? I shan't force her to do anything, if that's your question. So long. Ramen supper I never refused. You know what I just realized. Mm -hmm. Yes, Geralt? You look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I'd told him everything, he'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time now. So long. And truly, you could do nothing. Geralt, what can I do for you? If you're here, what's become of Eratusa? The day I arrived in Novograd, I received a message from Biruta Ikati. A short, curt note. School overrun by Redanians. The libraries burned. Handful of pupils fled with Nina Vivero. The rest are dead. It is over. No reaction from the Council? The Conclave? Do you jest? They asked Radovid to intervene, just after he'd appointed them. Farewell, Rita. Uh. What do you want? Farewell. Robin Supper. Yes, Geralt? Listen, think you could help me with his mark? It's driving me crazy. <gasps> oh, Geralt. What have you gotten yourself into now? Long story. Can you get rid of this thing? Afraid not. And I doubt anyone else will be able to either. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Folk give me strange looks anyway. Guess I ought to be used to it. So long, Triss. Geralt? So, feel any different after our encounter with the Jinn? Yes. Now I feel... regret. Mean to say that... That I regret we didn't try that earlier. Much earlier. Think we would have argued less? Quite the opposite. But the other moments would have been more intense as well. Moments like this. Ever think about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? 
For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. When the hunt had you, hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. All shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me. Trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. What did Aridin want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with him. <coughs> we were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Aridin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. <laughs> How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did, and if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, once all said and done, he is her father. Why didn't you look for me, after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eridan would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Listen, Miss Mark, can you do anything about it? I can scratch it if it itches, but I fear that's all. I'm not joking, Yen. Neither am I. These symbols. It's ancient, powerful magic. I've no notion how to remove them. Damn it. You're still one of the prettiest witches around in my book. Second only to Lambert. Thanks, Yen. See you later. Got a minute? Of course. The mark on my face. Is it noticeable? Hard in the eyes? A bit. But you can't let it bother you. You know, folk would stare at the scar on my cheek, always. It used to upset me greatly. And? I started undoing one shirt button more. Problem solved. So, need your advice about Yennefer. Very well. Ask away. The thing is, I'd like to take her somewhere once it's over. Someplace picturesque, beautiful even, where we can rest. You've been almost everywhere. Also know Yen well. Any ideas? I was thinking Spala or maybe Dolbathana. The first roadside inn you pass, take her there. Pay for a month in advance, carve do not disturb into the room door, and shut it behind you. <laughs> Just like that? Just like that. I should go. All right. We'll talk later. <coughs> yes, Geralt? We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone, and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. 
Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. That's nice of you. You were about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nagel Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it. With your help, naturally. What about you? Where will you be? Waiting in reserve. If something goes wrong, I shall react. Hmm. Like a general commanding troops from a hilltop? Gonna signal us by horn or use messengers? Exquisite irony, but what did I do to deserve it? Have I given you cause to doubt my intentions? Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Ciri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nagel Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. Well, can't say you're wrong there. <laughs> I thought I could at least count on you to treat me seriously. Never treat you any other way. You know that. You can't defeat Eridan. Don't stand a chance. Damn it, I don't know if I can. So stay away from him. Far away. Cyril, do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The Elder Blood can be fiery. Didn't sound convinced. No. But I can't very well tie her up and teleport her away, can I? Hmm. Definitely advise against trying that. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats amongst the soldiers. Yen, why are you here? To see you. Something happen? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. We've come a long way, and I'll be damned if we've come to fail. It'll be all right. I admire your optimism. Wish I shared it. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away. And I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society.
You, dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start anew. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not, if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please. Do whatever strikes our fancy. So? Coming with? I'd go anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalaka waits. And don't get killed, Witcher. I saw you in the scene. To lead our courts as diary sonde. Hog, if I buy a SFM him. Okay.